skincare routine, I, I keep it pretty simple because I'm usually in a rush. So I always start with face wash. So right now I'm really loving the Glossier um, Milky Jelly Cleanser. And then I follow with my absolute favorite. I've probably used this for 10 years now. Like I would steal it from my mom's um, vanity and that was, that's like a must for my whole family. Myself, my sister, my mom, we all fight over this product. So now that I work with the brand every now and then, I'm like everyone's favorite. Okay, and then um, face cream. I use quite a few different ones, but right now I'm really loving Barbara Sturm's, just her regular face cream. Um, if I'm very dry or it's for the evening, I'll use um, the Augustinus Bader Rich Cream, which is really nice. Um, Eye cream, I often forget, but when I do, I love the SK2 eye cream, same one. Really nice, really light. And then I always finish with sunscreen, which is super important because I am prone to sunspots. So I like anything that's water-based. Um, so Glossier has probably been my favorite for the last couple of years since it's come out. So my makeup routine has pretty much been the same since I was in high school, but every now and then I'll switch up my product. But you know, a winged liner is kind of a staple for me. It has been for really almost, so I would say like 15, 16 years. Um, and every time I stray from it, I'm like, oh, I miss my winged liner. So um, just to get into it, I usually skip foundation altogether unless it's for like a special occasion, but NARS is my favorite concealer. I'll use it under my eyes, on red spots um, or blemishes. I use the color custard um, and I'll kind of use it as my foundation and blend it all around. A powder because I do get a very oily T-zone. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. I like a compact so I can take it with me. Um, I do a light bit of contouring. That's kind of new. I didn't always do that, but you know, as you get older, a little definition's always nice. So I really love the Fenty Beauty. Um, it's got a really nice yellow base, so it looks more of like a contour on me versus um, too bronzy. And blush, NARS, also another favorite. I have this in my kit as well. I have all the wanted palettes, and these are really beautiful. Um, and highlighter, easy one to carry. I've always used a brush tip um, brush because I find it a little bit easier to apply and get that really nice sharp line. Um, never been a big fan of felt tips, but I know it's, you know, everyone has a different preference. I will, I often use either the Laura Mercier Caviar Intense Ink, which is the one I have here, or the Kat Von D one's really nice, and Stila Stay All Day, or anything from Japan, really. I love. And um, to kind of soften the edges, I use a black um, powder um, eyeshadow. So I love, the, I've used the Laura Mercier one or the Natasha Denona is really great as well. They're very, very pigmented and very dark. So um, those two, I kind of go back and forth. But the Natasha's in my kit and the Laura Mercier's here. And mascara, I've kind of just discovered this. Um, this is the Too Faced. I've always had to use um, something waterproof because my eyes do smudge and anything that's not waterproof generally weighs my lashes down. So this one's been a new favorite. It's very full um, and volumizing. Another favorite is the Maybelline Full and Soft. It's very fluffy and light. So if it's kind of just a day-to-day -day look, I'll opt for that one. But I'm so happy I discovered this one. Lash curler, also a must. So I will curl my lashes before and after mascara application. Um, this is the Shiseido one. And I love this one. And I also love the Shuamara one, which I don't believe they sell in the US anymore. So I'm Canadian. Whenever I go back to Canada, I'll pick up one or two. Um, and lastly, brows. I've had this tweezer for probably 10 years and it still works great. These are the Tweezerman ones and I think you can send them back in to get sharpened, but I've never had to and it's a good one. Brow pencil, That's I use brow pencils on myself. On clients, I generally will do like stack two or three products to get like a super fluffy finish. But for myself, I'm a little lazier. I like this angled one. Um, this one's Anastasia Beverly Hills. I believe Chanel also makes a really nice slanted one. Um, yeah. So it's easy. 
to use because I am missing a lot of hair. So rather than having to fill in all the spots, I kind of just draw really quickly and shade it in. So it's like a powder pencil duo in one. So it's super easy. And that's kind of it for my makeup routine. Pretty simple. So this is my kit. It's a Burton bag, which we were just talking about. My skincare bag. Um, I switch things out based on who I'm working with for the most part, but this usually stays pretty much the same. As I said earlier, I do love Barbara Sturm's products, Augustina Spader, they're, um, you can, you just know like no matter who you use them on, you're not gonna cause a reaction or anything because I feel like they're pretty gentle. Um, and then two of my favorite masks that I have to have in my kit, the Black Rose Cream Mask and the Express Flower Gel from Sisley. Both of these are really great um, for redness, just to get, have, get more radiance on the skin. Um, so I love those. What else? La Mer Lip Balm, really nice. A spritz. I love doing like a hot towel with a with something that smells really lovely just be before prepping, um, just to clean the skin. So I always carry one of these. I probably go through one a week if I'm busy and it's a pretty big bottle, so. This is a new little organizer I got that's super handy. I have um, most of my Chanel palettes in here that I really love. This, uh, this is actually from Chanel, so um, I put all of my eyeshadow palettes in there. It's very satisfying and neat. Um, and these are really fantastic foundations. These are the Shiseido Synchro Skin. Um, I carry all the shades with me, so no matter what, I know I'll have a color for somebody, and it's a very lightweight, moisturizing foundation. Um, it's definitely a new favorite. I think it might have might have been out for a little bit, but um, since I've got these travel guides, that's what I've been using. This is a sad looking palette that I have to clean. <laughs> Not as new and exciting, but these are my NARS um, blushes that I cannot live without. They're so beautiful. Um, I switch them up every now and then, but these are usually the nine I carry with me. Another very important palette that I would feel very nervous if I didn't have is the Anastasia Brow Palette also could do with a wipe down. <laughs> so these ones are great. Um, you, kind of, you can kind of see which ones I use the most, but having all these colors, if it, you know, gives me the confidence that I'll have the right shade for anyone I get. Here is, let's hope they're organized. Okay, not bad. All my um, eyeliners. Uh, so all different colors. This is my main kit that I carry with me. Um, it has all my essentials. So it opens up like this. And it has, I have all my lip stuff on the first side. This is another NARS blush section. And then eyeliner. So these are things that I find that I'll kind of go to um, more often. So I just keep them all in one. Um, so I'm not having to pull like two things out of each bag. They're kind of all here. So I open it up and this is my station. Uh, it makes it really easy. Okay, my NARS concealers that I use on myself. I have all of them in my kit. Things that I use every single makeup session would be, okay, my lash curlers. This is a Shuamara one, a little baby one. You can't get this one anymore, so I am very careful with it. I have all the um, Huda Beauty colors on here, just in case, you know, somebody wants something bright. They're really nice and compact, so I have all the colors. Again, it's kind of about downsizing but making sure you have everything you need just in case somebody decides they want like blue sparkles and you know you don't have it which would really suck um, okay foundation wise I'm really loving Pat McGrath's foundations they're um, a really nice they have a really nice yellow undertone um, that I find still you know hard to get in some um, brands but she does a really nice one. Um, the Kogan Doe I've been a big fan of for a long time. And then these are also really pretty. I love these. These are the Dior uh, eyeshadow palettes that I got not too long ago. I think that's kind of about it. All my depotted stuff that's 
not as exciting to look at, but you know, these are lipsticks and um, cream eyeshadows that I carry around with me. I have yet to depot, like this little guy all has to go into one of these so I can carry them with me. Um, these are Chanel lipsticks. I think that's about it. Um, kind of named all my favorites. Glossier Boy Brow, love that. A highlighter, this one's really nice. This is the Chanel, it's like very dewy without any like shimmer in it. It just kind of just looks like a balm. I think this one's sold out. People always try to take it from me. So I'm very careful, I always have to make sure I have it back in my bag.